Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create invisible people, um, just like you've seen here. This is only going to show the swimsuit, but you'll get the idea on how to do the whole person. Okay, so first thing you need is you need a picture of a person that you want to use and a background. So there's our person and there's our background. Now what you want to do is you want to make a selection around your person like I've already done here. Um, you can do that using the pen tool which is just this one here and you can do that just by clicking around and then right click and select make selection and then for the radius just leave that as zero and then OK and then it will make the selection just like this but yeah of course you have to click around the whole person which takes a while um, but it depends on how accurate you want to be okay so I'm just gonna then with that selection go to edit and copy and then go in minimize that and go into file and then new and now I want to make the same um, the same height as my person just uh, want to add more width so it's probably going to be say 900 it's probably not big enough so let's get file new width 1200 okay and then I'm just gonna go edit and paste just like that and then I'm gonna select our Nelson Beach image which is a lot larger and um, I'm just going to drag that got to use the move tool and drag that across to there and then we need to go into edit transform scale and then we just need to scale that down of course so Scaling it down to fit the background there. Just like that. Give that a tick. I'm going to move that below. And then I'm just going to hold shift with the background. And select right click, right click here and select merge layers. So now the beach becomes the background. Now what you can do is you can flip the canvas if you're flip the layer if you want to face the other direction just by going into edit transform flip horizontal just like we just did then you can um, position her to where you want her um, then what we want to do is duplicate the layer by dragging it down to here and then on that layer we want to create a layer mask and we just want to use a start off with a large brush and just remove the background and we want to move her um, but because like we're doing this and we can't see her head disappearing you want to make the layer underneath invisible so you can see what you're doing here and we're just gonna remove everything around as well as her so you just want to remove her you want to remain leave the uh, swimsuit remain remaining and then we'll proceed to the next step so I'm just going to pause it and erase as much of her and leave the swimsuit okay so I've masked the layer so that only the swimsuit is so showing now what we want to do is go image adjustments and we need to select this part first, then go into image adjustments and desaturate to give us the grey, black and white. Then we want to go into filter, artistic and plastic wrap. And don't be concerned that it's selecting that whole bit there, that's fine. Um, now what we want to do is have the highlight strength as 20, the detail 10, and smoothness, or detail 15, sorry, and the smoothness 10. So I'm just going to hit OK, and that gives us that effect. 
Then what we want to do is change the blending mode to screen, just like that, and then we have the invisible swimsuit. Now what we want to do is we want to make a selection of our swimsuit. So we hold control and click on the mask there and so we can see that we've got these bits here that are still showing. So you just got to select, deselect and then use your brush tool to just, whilst selecting the mask layer, just to um, erase those bits there. I think there was a bit here. So now if we click there, so it's still a bit there, so I'm just going to select deselect. And then that should have got most of that. Now we have a good selection of the background. So what we want to do now is with that selection, we make the, the color layer visible. Then we select that layer, press delete and then that gives us the invisible swimsuit on the girl. So I'm just going to select deselect there. Now you can select the swimsuit layer and add more plastic wrap effect if you like by going into filter, artistic and plastic wrap just to give it a more watery effect if you like. Um, otherwise you can just leave it as it is and then um, I like to go a step further and just right click and select blending options and then add a drop shadow but change the blend mode to color burn and the spread size just increase it to the maximum just so it gives that burn around the swimsuit just to sort of highlight the swimsuit there and then just hit OK. So that's basically it. I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.